morning everybody it is a little after eight o'clock in the morning got my pre-workout going to the gym going to the store doing meal prep i think i'm going to stick with the pizza casserole again this week not only because it was delicious but also i still have a lot of the ingredients like the cheese and the tomato sauce like things i just want to use up that are like half open so i want to do that as well i think i'm gonna go with some scrambled eggs throw in some pancakes this week and, and some bacon but i'll just see what the store is looking like when i get there i have a busy day today um i really should work but i'm not going to my best friend and i are starting a podcast so i think we're going to try to record our first episode of that today like what else do i need to add to my schedule like it's just too much but what can i say i like to keep busy all right, let's get to it. Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye. Say goodbye. Until the day that all you gonna let them hold you down and make you cry. Think you know, you know, if you know, it's a chain off, it's a go your way. If you hold on, Starting off meal prep is pizza casserole today. So this is the spice mixture that I use for the ground beef. We have fennel, onion, garlic, red pepper, salt, and pepper. So I'm just browning up the beef and adding my spice mixture. You'll see Keto Connect in the background, shout out. Next, I am grating up my mozzarella cheese to go in the casserole. I use 12 ounces total, three layers of four ounces. I used 100 grams of both green pepper and onion. Starting the layer, I'm using the remaining half of the bottle of the Rouse tomato sauce. Start with a third of that, go in with a layer of ground beef, hit it with four ounces of cheese. I put some oregano on there for even more pizza flavor. Next, half of the onion and pepper mixture, pepperonis, and then I start layering again with more sauce, more beef. More cheese. oregano, peppers and onions, and then I finish it with the last of the sauce. Then I put on another layer of pepperonis. Then I top it with the remaining four ounces of mozzarella cheese, and I add it on an additional two ounces of Parmesan cheese. That goes in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. Next, I am just preparing some bacon. After that went in the oven for 400 for 15 minutes, I'm starting on my scrambled eggs. I put about a tablespoon of ghee in the pan, and 
then just scrambled up 18 eggs. Next I'm making pancakes. So I am starting with almond flour, coconut flour, baking powder, cinnamon, swerve, and those are the dry ingredients so I just sifted those together and then I included mayonnaise which kind of freaked me out but it turned out great. All right, and that was nine eggs for the recipe that I'm making. And look at that batter. It turned into an awesome batter. So I just kept spraying the pan with coconut oil and I made my pancakes. After this, I made them about three at a time. And I got 25 pancakes. Okay, guys, it is just before four o'clock and I have finished meal prep. And first of all, let me say how excited I am that I have a leftover pancake. I ended up getting 25 out of the recipe that I made and I only need 24 for meal prep, so pancake time. Uh, but let's look at how good everything looks. I'm so excited. Okay, that's the pizza casserole just giving me my ever loving life. It is going to be delicious. And I used up everything that I had left over this week, so, uh, I'll probably do something different next week. Now let's just feast your eyes on this. Like, oh my gosh. Well, hello, Mr. Bacon, how are you today? So I decided to do something different where I just put all of my meal prep in like carry out pans. I was noticing I was spending too much time cleaning those individual dishes. And if anybody knows me, I hate dishes. So. Since I go to the same place to work every day and there's a refrigerator, I'm like, why don't I just put everything in one pan and then just take out the individual portions when it's time for me to eat? Therefore, drastically reducing my dishwashing footprint. So for dessert, the same thing, Lily's chocolate and those Atkins bars. I'm gonna try to move away from the Atkins bars, but I bought them and I'm gonna eat them. I mean, they're delicious, I'm not gonna lie. So now I'm gonna eat my pancake, my leftover pancake. I also have leftover ground beef and a little bit of mozzarella. Like I have leftover remnants for everything that didn't quite fit in the pan for meal prep. So I'm just gonna have a hodgepodge dinner of foods uh, and then I'm going to go shoot the podcast or tape the podcast. It's not a video, so you just, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go do the podcast and then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna have me some fluff. I'm pretty sure that's my Sunday night routine. So, got some carbs to spare. Okay, this is literally me eating ground beef, mozzarella cheese, and pepperonis that were left over. And there is gonna be my dessert right there. Ye leftover pancake. Today was a win. It was just a plain win. All right guys, it's a little after seven and I am calling it a day. Uh, we had an amazing meal prep. We had some eggs and pancakes and bacon and pizza casserole and a uh, bonus recipe. I just whipped up some fluff and I'm gonna go sit down and watch TV. I'm gonna enjoy me a couple hours of television with my fluff. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as comment below and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll catch you next week.